What's going on, everyone? It's your hobby hound here, Wolf Wolf. So I haven't opened any hockey in a while, and I love hockey. So I'm going to get into this 2021-22 artifacts. Uh, this is a blaster that's been sitting, collecting dust. Because um, I'm sure <laughs> if you've heard um, me talk about it on the channel, I've kind of sworn it off the uh, retail because of the horrible luck that I've had. I've just never had the great luck that, you know, I see it sometimes see people hit like amazing stuff where they pull like a $200, $300 card out of a blaster. And if I do pull those kind of things, it becomes a redemption that they never, <laughs> never redeem. Anyway, uh, let me do a quick mega rip and I'll meet you guys on the other side of the fast forward. So, it says here, five, sorry, it's kind of a mess up, five cards per pack, seven packs per box. So it says seven bonus, it's not nine packs, it must be considered five normally. I don't know why they do that. The bonus stuff doesn't fool us, come on. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. Uh, let's see, collect autograph and game worn memorabilia. I have pulled autographs in the past from not only this, but um, SP. And SP is the uh, retail version of SP Authentic um, that you'll find in stores. Let's see what else. Blaster exclusive, neon green base parallels. So that's pretty cool. Um, anything else? I guess the odds themselves which is going to be very hard to read. Um, but yeah, that's what I have uh, this magnifying glass for. So there's like uh, rose gold, gold parallels, yellow, uh, light blue steel, just a whole bunch of different variations. So hopefully there's something like that in this retail box. All right. So on the very tippy top here, James Van Remsdyke. Got Jason Robertson. We got our first rookie, uh, Rasmus Kapari. I'm not too familiar. I've been out of it so long as far as the hockey's uh, prospects go. Um, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I know obviously current players, but yeah. We got Nick Backstrom, Braden Point, ah, Landis God, good old Colorado Avalanche, Martin Jones, another green here uh, of a base card, John Carlson, who's a defenseman, uh, Sergey Bobrovsky, he's the Panthers uh, keeper, I guess. Blake Wheeler, he's been there playing for a while. Connor Garland, Ryan Suter, another rookie, Cam York. So he is a defenseman. It's not like, uh, ugh, both of the one, the rookies that I've got so far are defensemen. It's literally like getting a pitcher. Um, you may have lightning strike. Um, but, I mean, I really do compare it to that because uh, defensemen are just like that rare um, player to become like Hall of Famers and become amazing um, defensemen. But not to say it doesn't happen, because it does. So we got Jake Musen, Yanni Gordy, Mark Giordano, Seth Jones, another green, Jacob Markstrom, so he is with the Flames, looks like he came up with the Canucks, played there for a little while, uh, anymore, um, there's no like full, uh, there's it's always a, a platoon of 
goalies, and I, I think that's probably smart that they do that. But you know, back in the day when I collected, like there was Patrick Waugh, he would have an, a backup, but you know, the majority of the games would be started by Waugh. I got uh, Jacob. Oh yeah, Jacob Markstrom again. Um, Maxim Kamatos. Kamatos or something like that. He's Kamatos. Uh, Ellie. Tolvanen. There's John Tavares. He's been in the league a long time, too. Tuka Rask. Nick Suzuki. Adrian Kempe. Or Kemp. I'm not sure how it's said. Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, Bo, Bo Horvart. Or Horvat, excuse me. Martin Nekas. And here's another green base. We got Matthew Kachuk. Pius Suter. Carter Hart. Dougie Hamilton. Uh, Tim Stoltze. And Maxim <laughs> Comatose again. Uh, oh my gosh. Carter Ver. Heggy. Let's go with that. Come on over here, dude. Okay, I'm here with... Can you turn around so I can get a name? Yes, that is a S, a K, and a J all next to each other, so that's a nope. Uh and JT Miller. So, if you noticed, all, all of them have, like, the limited stats. Looks like it's just a five-year stretch. They obviously have below that, it says nine... In a, uh, NHL seasons so so far it looks like nine is the most Pius only has one season so it's a second year card a few second year players there there we go Tavares 12 seasons he would uh, be considered an old old timer like uh, Mark Giordano with 15 NHL seasons Oof, Ryan Suter beats all with 16 NHL seasons. That's a mighty long time considering a lot of them, you know, waller around in, in the um, minors um, or other leagues um, before they end up in the NHL, unless they're, of course, a touted rookie and then everybody goes, uh -oh gets all excited about the, their cards but it's I mean it's a really good looking product um, I'm sure you guys all agree if you see the uh, hobby version of this there are like patch autos I think it's like four autos per box or something like that but it's roughly like five four or five hundred dollars hockey has never really gone down in price it's always been like I mean it is the what upper deck has going on I mean so they put a lot of their time into it and they, they come out with a great product each year at least uh, in my opinion so only one av kind of feel like i i got chipped on that one and then again the rookies i don't i just don't know enough about either of them as far as roi goes i mean these can't be more than a quarter and the rookies i don't know it depends on the rookie, but I would say probably like two to five bucks tops, tops. Um, so, you know, as far as ROI goes, this is like a definite strikeout. Um, or um, I missed the empty net. So, that's a good analogy. I'm looking here, and it does have let me see, all the rights, rights reserved. It's got the Carlsbad location, but... I don't know why, but Upper Deck Company. Okay, there's there's the address, okay. It's got the address on there with the copyright. That's kind of cool. I did, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this thing, but so like the holograms turn into different stuff. I'm guessing that's, this one's different too. So like each one can be different. Upper Deck has done that for years. 
where they've changed up the holograms. If you've noticed on any of your old uh, baseball or football product, there's like some variations to them. Um, I, I don't think that these have any kind of monetary change to them. And it's just basically moving um, the cut where it was previously. Uh, so let me uh, get a total real quick and I'll be right back. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. All right, that wasn't it. Uh, too many to actually add up there or uh, get a total on. So let's see, five, this should be 35 cards. And that's exactly what I got out of there. So uh, out of the base cards, um, or 29, again, I, I would say probably none of them are worth more than <laughs> whatever the common price would be. But, you know, there's set collectors and people that uh, get into all that. There were two, yeah, the two of the rookies, both defensemen, which I, I don't know. I've, I've had that happen a lot lately. I don't know why. Um, maybe because I'm aware of it and it's like I know it's a whammy when it comes up. As far as the green parallel base cards go, there were four. And again, there were wasn't much uh, return on investment in there. But I enjoyed it. Um, hmm. I like what you got. Good job. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Take care.